you shout more than this. Praise Jesus. Okay, that's fine. You can have your seat, please. Shh. You know, the Bible says there's time for everything under the sun. All right. So, Potter City, thank you for having me. Potter's praise, thank you for having me. And to my friends and brothers, Minister Dunsing, Minister Jometo, and the one I'm meeting for the first time. Minister Diana, nice to meet you. Prophet Adam, good to see you. And um, to the set man and the set woman of the house, nice to meet you. And, and it is nice to meet you, sir. You don't look 70. And you still look very strong so it's nice to meet you and I believe your wife and the whole of Porter City is nice to meet you and this year's Porter's phrase is tagged Thanksgiving Thanksgiving is powerful fasted for 70 days and prayed. Scripture says that all things should be done with thanksgiving. Scripture also says that it is a good thing to give thanks. I have seen where thanksgiving raised the dead. Not once, not twice, not three times, at least four, four times in my home, Thanksgiving raised the dead. My father was dead a whole day. And rather than cry, my mom dragged him into the house by herself and shut the door. And then she unleashed Thanksgiving in songs and we started to pray from morning this was around 7 a.m. we were supposed to go to work we started to pray and at 12 o'clock we started to cry because he wasn't coming back and she said shut up pray worship he will come back and at 9 p.m. by the way in between we looked for pastor pastor didn't come on time but at 9 p.m., he came back to life. And he is going to be 80 next year. My older sister, she was gone for four days. It was, um, there was no, I mean, they had embalmed her. But it was still Thanksgiving. You see, Thanksgiving raises your faith and your hope. And the only one who can fix and sort out cases that the world has given up on. And so Thanksgiving is meant for one person. 
when you give thanks, dead things can come back to life. It happened with Lazarus, it happened in my family, and it's still happening. When you give thanks, multiplication happens. You don't understand how it's happening. Multiplication happened. And concerning Ghana, 2 Kings 3, 17. The Lord says to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain. But this valley situation you are in will be filled see the wind you won't see the rain you have prayed you have fasted you have worshipped you have given thanks but this is the word of the Lord to you you will not see the wind you will not see the rain but this valley situation in Ghana in less than two years will be filled So you should rejoice and you should give thanks like never before. Is it okay if I teach you a song? Okay, it's very simple. It says,
says you're on this journey till I am transformed you will not leave me till my will come forth daily restoring to that perfect me you formed
you to practice the kingdom right now. Can we choice and fill this house? Fill Potter City. Can you be choice like never before? Can you be choice like never before? Can you be choice?
sound of the sky. I walk with God, the spirit. Three of them, John, I get back in. Respect. 
the word. The word, the word, the word. The Bible. So whether you are singing, preaching, whatever it is you are doing, the Bible. Scripture says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I condemn. Scripture says, who says a thing and it comes to pass? When the Lord. So they came and I was dying. There was nobody to call. I was alone in the house. And I was angry in my spirit. And I just heard myself say, hey, you're a word. And it's over, don't you come me?
pastor is going to make the altar call. Because I really would want you to be saved if you're not saved. Because that will be the fruit of this thanksgiving. Hey, hey, hey. Before you clap or sit, if you are born again, you stand up. If you are born again, you stand up. When people give their life to Christ, no man can make them do it. If you understood how you gave your life to Christ, when we are talking about souls, you give the utmost attention. No man can come except he trusts them. No eloquent word can change a man. So he says it's okay. Are you coming? If you haven't received Jesus, do you want to come? find your way, find your way, come, 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 come. So that as minister do sing, we'll praise you, will join in. If you have not given your life to Jesus, come. No shadow, it won't light up. Mountain, it won't climb up. To come of time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. This is a good time to give your life. Come, come, come. It is joy. Heaven rejoices over one soul. Come, 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 come. It's the best decision you can make, giving your life to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. He says in Mark, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Come, come, come. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Please help me with this. Come, 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 come. Can you hear him calling? Uh, 
sing, I am more than a song. Today, I am the sacrifice. I am more than a song. Somebody tell me I am.
Without 
lift your hands, I tell him. You only say all. Lift it up. Somebody lift your hands. 
said when the glory comes, it's glaring, it's vivid, it's nayayayaya, shapaliyane. Why the glory? Why the glory? I declare, somebody in the realm of the spirit, arise, shine, for your light has come.
need a raw material. Because out of nothing, he for the invisible attributes of God was made known by the things that are visible. So when you call Yah, you are summoning the same creative power that called light out of darkness. Yeah. 
pray for God to work. And most times, you must prophesy with a song to recalibrate your atmosphere. What it means is that from tonight, after 70 days, the things that will be happening in your life, people will say, this is the from your lyrics 
does he carry the same power as a son? God is not raising singers. He's raising psalmists. People who carry the heart of the Father. That's what God wants to raise. That's the people God wants to raise in this season. David, in First Samuel, the Bible says, men who were dejected, battered, came to David. In 2 Samuel 23, the Bible began to talk about the mighty men of David. A question I needed to think about, how did they become mighty men? I present to you what the Holy Ghost told me. David sank over them. And they began to build strength from within. A man killed 800 people at one time. Tell me the technology. 800 people came to a man in the days where there are no guns, no bombs. And he wasted 800 men at one time. How? But in Psalm 18 verse 26, David said, by my God, I can run against the truth. Those were the songs David sang over there that made someone like Eleazar, the son of Dodo. He fought so much, the sword clear to his palm. How? But in first summer, they came as dejected, rejected men. How did they become mighty men? They had no training. And if you doubt that, remember the 316 slaves in the house of Abraham in Genesis 12, Genesis 13 that went to war against five nations and slaves who had never been to battle won. I'm telling you, there is this unexplainable power that comes from real sounds. David sang over this man, they became mighty. I believe one of the songs he sang over was by my God I can run towards it. A real sound alters your structure. In Acts 2, the Bible says they heard a sound. Many of you thought it was natural sound. Yes, there was a natural explanation. But the sound they heard was they heard it in their spirit. He pulled everybody to Jerusalem. He pulled everybody to that place. Not the sound. If a sound erupts from here, the whole Ghana cannot hear. The whole Accra cannot hear this sound. If anything erupts from here tonight, neighboring places will hear. But that a sound erupted in upper room and the whole city came because they heard that sound. It was not just, it was just not, not just a natural sound they heard. Their spirit heard something. That is what sound does. When a sound is released, it echoes everywhere. Those are the people God wants to raise. And the song over Ghana must change for you to see revival. If you are into the music ministry and you are trusting the Lord for a deeper walk with Him, listen, we never go to God for songs. We never go to God for songs. We literally just desire a relationship. And then he gives us a word. If you are into the music ministry, and you are trusting God for the hand of the Lord to come upon you for a deeper walk. You know, the Lord said to me, every day he has a king in him, but most don't get to the throne. Say that one more time. Every David has a king in him, but most Davids don't get to their throne. They get to the palace, but they don't get to the throne. They are okay with playing for Saul. Thank God a song of yours is going everywhere. That's the baseline. 
God wants to handle nations to you. I said most people are David's, but most are carried away by the time they invite them to the palace and they forget their destiny, which is the throne. If you are into the music ministry and you want us to pray with you and agree with you, that the Lord moves you to another level of intimacy, please find your way forward. My brother, Joe Metu, please come up stage. My sister Diana Hamilton, please come. My sister Victoria, let's let's do this. Please come. Please come up stage.